Hey guys, today is Wednesday, June 21st, 2017. It's time for more Bible Robinsons. My name is Timothy Andrew Antonio Cubbin, and I am the host, and I'm going to be talking to you about a topic which I found interesting, which is X-Men Movies Multiple Timelines Theory. Okay, there is a lot, I mean a lot, of things they have in the X-Men movies. Because let's face it, we had 1, 2, 3. Those were the original. X-Men, X, X-Men, X-Men, Last Stand. That made sense. Then they made X-Men Origins Wolverine, which if you really watch, there's kind of a... Maybe some things didn't match up right? I, I don't know. Then there's at least X-Men First Class. We thought, okay, this is what happens before X-Men Origins Wolverine and, one, two, and X-Men X-2 and X-Men Last Stand. Now... Then they make Days of Future Past, which followed after Wolverine, after The Wolverine, where at the end of The Wolverine, you find it's a continuation of X-Men Last Stand, where Wolverine is dreaming of Jean Grey as being dead, but she's still in bed with him the whole time. Now, let's look at this carefully. They add Days of Future Past, which changes everything. I mean, yes, there's a past which follows up between first class. Then there's also the thing that has an impact on the original trilogy. Now think about it. Really think about it. So you do the past, it's changing the past. They change the past and change everything. Including Cyclops and Jean Grey being alive still. Like really weird. Because let's face it, we all know they died in the last stand. At least I hope you did. If not, oopsies. I humbly apologize. But then when they add Apocalypse, you really think about they don't add up. I mean, there they are knowing Nightcrawler beforehand. If you watch on X-Men X2, they say, who is this guy? And he just doesn't know it's Nightcrawler. But if you watch, for, watch Apocalypse, they know Nightcrawler and they are friends with Nightcrawler. They go to the mall with Nightcrawler. Then they also know Angel, who in... Excellent Stan was still getting used to his powers, but this angel was really cocky and pretty much an asshole. So, that was the difference. Like, what's going on? And then, of course, the big discrepancy from the comics is that Havoc is Cyclops' younger brother in the comics, but the movie is his older brother, so that's kind of weird. I mean, that's kind of weird. There's also the fact that characters are used in different ways, like, say, Jubilee. If you watch in the first X-Men movie, and there's a deleted scene where they're in the classroom, and Storm calls on Jubilee to answer the question. So, and if you watch X2 when they rescue the kids, Jubilee is called by name. So how is it that Jubilee can be in the 80s, and also the 2000s, at the same age? Like, what? And, let's look at, you know, just really weird. So, Apocalypse constructs everything from the original X-Men trilogy, including Mystique actually being good with the X-Men. Like, really weird. I mean, yes, I had supposed to go to Storm, Cyclops, and Jean Grey, but doesn't make sense. I mean, well, I got the set of Blu-rays, I got what they call the Beginnings trilogy, which, really, if you look at it, not the beginning, so what is going on? There's multiple timelines, so really, really weird. You know, if you really think about it, there's gotta be multiple timelines. It can't all be the same timeline, you know? That's just my theory. Well, so tomorrow's gonna cut it out.